Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Palette GTX 460 Sonic Platinum 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with this video card is a quick installation guide, software and drivers, as well as one 6-pin power adapter. They include a trial version of Butaboom conversion software. This software is a fast media converter that formats video files for a variety of devices by using the graphics processing unit. Since this software uses CUDA, which is NVIDIA's parallel computing architecture technology, it dramatically reduces conversion times, especially on large files. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 and it's based on the GF104 chip which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.1 billion transistors. The cooler is designed by Pallet and it's pretty impressive. It's comprised of a plastic top with one rather large fan which moves air over the heatsink. The heatsink is comprised of many aluminum fins as well as a copper heat pipe, but the heatsink only comes in contact with the GPU and not the memory. This video card measures in at only seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters in length so it should fit in any standard ATX case. There are four video connections VGA, 2 DVI as well as an HDMI with 1.4a output support. Now remember that this video card does support multiple displays and resolutions up to 2560 by 1600. There are two 6-pin power connections at the top back of the video card, which is much better than having them at the very end of the video card because in some situations the case might be very small and the space at the end of the video card might be limited. The maximum power consumption for stock GTX 460 video cards is 160 watts, but because this video card is overclocked, it's probably closer to 170 watts. So a quality brand name power supply is recommended, especially in a multiple video card configuration. There's only one SLI bridge connection, so a maximum of two video cards in SLI is possible. The core speed on this product is 800 megahertz, and the 1000 24 megabytes of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 4000 megahertz DDR. It comes with 336 CUDA cores, 56 texture units, and 32 raster operations. The texture fill rate is 44.8 gigatexels per second. The pixel fill rate is 25.6 gigatexels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 128 gigabytes per second. Now let me highlight some of the key technologies. This video card has complete DirectX 11 support and one of its key features is tessellation. Hardware tessellation delivers a huge increase in gaming realism and visual fidelity. In this water demo, we show hardware tessellation delivering incredibly realistic, high fidelity water and terrain out of minimal input geometry. We begin with no tessellation, just the baseline mesh. As we increase the level of tessellation, you see the terrain and water surface fill in with increasingly realistic looking texture and volume. Physics technology enables a totally new class of physical gaming interaction for a more dramatic and realistic experience. Pure Video HD technology is a combination of high definition video decode acceleration and post processing that delivers unprecedented picture clarity, smooth video, accurate color, and precise image scaling for movies and video. 3D vision support brings a fully immersive stereoscopic 3D experience to the PC. A combination of high-tech wireless glasses and advanced software, 3D vision transforms hundreds of PC games into full stereoscopic 3D. In addition, you can watch 3D movies and 3D digital photographs in eye-popping crystal clear quality. It also has unified architecture, which allows processing power to geometry, vertex, physics, or pixel shading operations, and supports Windows 7. Now have a listen as I increase the speed of the fan.
Without a doubt, this is the very best bang for the buck video card currently on the market. Now this is still a mid-range video card, meaning that it's not low end and it's not high end, but it does perform really, really well. It's so nice to see a video card like this on the market because you don't have to break the bank to get really good performance and the video card jam packed full of features and technologies. Now remember that this video card is a little different than the NVIDIA GTX 460 stock version. This is Palette's own kind of twist on the GTX 460. They've done a few revisions like for example the cooler that's theirs. Also the printed circuit board is a little different because it's shorter and that's why this video card measures in at seven and a half inches and not 8.25 inches which is nice the shorter the better in a way because you can fit it in more cases also this video card comes overclocked but you can overclock it even further if you want to there's no doubt about it this is a kick-ass product until next time take care